Hello everyone. Well, as you can see, we got a nice little patch of corn right here. So we're going to go ahead and harvest some of this and start blanching it to put in the freezer for corn on the cob later on. Anyway, we've got a lot of ears in here I've already harvested. You can only eat so much, so we got to get some of this in the freezer. There's a perfect example of one right here that's ready to go. The top is starting to turn brown, the little hairs. And if we go ahead and open it up, look at that golden deliciousness. Mm -mm -mm. And they're nice, and if you pop them, it's kind of a clear juice coming out of them. Once it starts turning milky, then it's actually getting overripe, and then it'll get starchy. So you want to harvest them when the corn is actually, or the kernels are actually putting out a clear juice. All right, this is perfect right here. Let's go ahead and start shucking this. Mm, delicious, look at that. What I do is I break off the little tip where no corn kernels grow and then I'll snap it in half so that way we can have shorter pieces in the fridge and it's a lot easier to pack. So, and make sure you pluck off as many of those hairs as you can. We got our first batch of corn right here. Took off the husks, broke them in half, cut the tips off where usually no corn ever grows. I got my water boiling and you don't want to put too many in there at a time because the blanching process doesn't really start until the water gets back to a boil. If you put too many in there it's going to take a long time to bring back to a boil. So you just go ahead and add some in there. So we'll go ahead and leave that in there. Put the lid on. That holds the heat in so it actually starts boiling faster. And what we do is we'll set a timer once it starts boiling, set a timer for five minutes. Because you want to boil it for at least five minutes, five to six minutes or so, because you got to heat up that cob on the inside because you got to kill those enzymes and stuff. And so they'll stop growing or become inactive. That way it will store a lot better. The corn's been boiling for five minutes. I got cold water in the sink. I'm going to go ahead and take them out of there and drop them straight in the cold water. Like I said, you want to boil them for at least five minutes. And then we'll get them in here and get them cooled down real quick and stop the cooking process. Alright, the corn is nice and cool, so we're going to go ahead and take it out of the water and put it in a... strainer here to dry off a little bit. Alright, you don't have to do this part. You can just use a cookie sheet. But I got a little rack that fits perfectly inside the cookie sheet. And what I do is I'll take that corn, set it up on the rack like this, keeping them separated. And then I stick this in the freezer just like this. And once they're frozen solid, then I'll go ahead and put them in their plastic gallon freezer bags. That way they don't, if you just stuck them right into a freezer bag or wrapped them up right there, they would freeze together. This way, if you freeze them separately like this, then you can put them in the bag, and then you can just pull out just what you need. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and stick this in my freezer and get this one started freezing. Just got the corn out of the freezer. Now we're going to pull out our Ziploc freezer gallon bags. 
I've had the corn in there probably an hour or so, maybe an hour and a half, so it's nice and frozen on the outside. The cob's probably almost all the way frozen through. So what we're going to do is we'll just fill up our gallon bag with them. All right, there's one bag right there. We found that we, if we do the same thing with our asparagus and stuff like that when we blanch it, just put it in the freezer like that, and then once it's frozen, take it off the pan and put it in the gallon baggies, and just take out what you need, because when you freeze it singly like that, it will not stick together. All right, back to the freezer. That is my process of blanching and freezing corn on the cob. All right, thanks for watching, y'all. Have a good one. Hopefully it helps.